Welcome to Life Science. I'm introducing you a film of an egg in vinegar. So we need vinegar, we need an egg and a big container. Okay, now I suck the egg in vinegar. You will see many many bubbles in the surface of egg shell. That means the reaction of acid and carbonate is undergoing. You may feel it is very disgusting, right? Actually me too. These bubbles are similar to gas from soda, water, and cola. Do you know what this is? Yes, it's carbon dioxide. As the time passes by, the extra will dissolve gradually. And I should tell you, the vinegar usually contains 3 or 5 percent of acetic acid. But all kinds of acid can have such similar reaction. If you leave the egg overnight, or the time is longer enough, then all the extra will disappear. So we can get a transparent egg in the end, and it looks very, very beautiful. Do you know the main component of an extra? I'll give a hint. It's very common in our daily life. I once knocked over a bottle of vinegar on the floor of my home. There were small bubbles on the ground. I was so scared. Is this similar to the components of tiles? You are right. The composition of an extra is similar to that of marble. Both have calcium carbonate. When calcium carbonate meets an acidic solution, it produces carbon dioxide gas, which is the small bubbles we see in the film. Is carbon dioxide common in daily life? Of course. One more question. Do you know the property of carbon dioxide? Can it help in burning or is it soluble in water? Only oxygen can help in burning. Do you know the chemical in fire extinction? Let's do an experiment and you will see. Gosh, I haven't been to a lab for a long time. Shall we leave now? No need to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. We can do this experiment here. Welcome to Richard's Virtual Lab. Chemistry experiments are not only interesting but also very, very dangerous. But here, we can do experiments very safely. We can zoom in, we can also zoom out. You can see, you can choose any angle you like. Everybody, this is the most beautiful and clean lab I have been. In the lab, small amount of carbon dioxide can be prepared by the following steps. But the setup process is a little bit complicated. So I just show you directly. Okay? First, you should choose an acid, such as hydrochloric acid or acetic acid, onto white solid. That is calcium carbonate. Soon you can see many many bubbles produced. That means the chemical reaction is undergoing. You can also collect the gas in another bottle. We know carbon dioxide does not have combustion, so carbon dioxide is used in some fire extinguisher. Here, we can use light matches to test it. We will see the fire extinguished very quickly. In my lab, you can test it as many times as you like without any waste and pollution. In science language, we can write down the reaction as the following equation. The symbols here will be introduced more carefully in the periodical table. You may love it or hate it in the future. Okay? This is calcium carbonate. This is hydrochloric acid and calcium chloride and water and the carbon dioxide. Could you repeat again?